Hey everyone, Team EDF here for more Dark Magician, Dark Magic Attack. Yeah. Wish we'd put off going to the castle, I'd have liked to see this from the beginning. Huh, yeah, I know how you feel. But being part of an adult is putting one's own feelings aside in favor of doing what needs to be done. Huh. Well, I like not being an adult yet. Next up, we have the eighth preliminary match. First, with the remaining competitors step forward. Southside Blue Team. Team Raven. Captain is Firestar. Starfire. That's her name, right? What? Teen Titans? Oh my. Nah, I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> I remember. I think I remember it now. Yeah, Starfire. What are those guys doing here? Oh yeah, it's that group from the warehouse district in Rouen. I see. The competition's open to the general public. Ugh, they stick out like sore thumbs. They really don't deserve to be counted among professional soldiers and martial artists. Northside Red Team from the neighboring Calvard Republic appearing alone is Zane. Zane, another familiar face, and small world, but fighting alone is going to be a real handicap for him. No kidding, he may be fighting a bunch of punks, but if they surround him, he's in real trouble. Of course, he's just gonna blast him to death. Oh, hey, this dude. Oops. Yay, it's this guy. I summon Cyber Dragon. Zane will be competing in this prelim solo with no team to stand at his side. He fights at a considerable disadvantage, but his prodigious skill will make this match a sight to behold. We ask all in attendance to understand the arrangement. He's all gonna punch the lights out. This begins the 8th preliminary match. Both teams, go to your starting places. Ready? Begin! We got a main... We got ourselves a main event match. It's going to be filled with star power and excitement. But I'm, not, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. <laughs> this is going to be one of the worst matches. Oh god. Jeez! Jeez! Is this LP going to have 200 episodes? I don't think quite that far, but we're in the hundreds now. And yeah, we're getting there. But certain I'll be doing the sequel as well, so that's probably another hundred or so. I'm gonna bet on that oh. one. Oh, wow. Here comes the Kamehameha! <laughs> wow! GG! Hey, wait, they're not dropping Sepeth now, okay. Okay, oh! Winner is Zane Truesdale. Well, how's he got the Sequel is longer, says Epi. Jeez, man, this is just gonna be. This series is gonna go on forever. And there's what, eight games total? There's like three main games and five side games, I think, that that one person said. Right. No oh. holds barred! Oh! <laughs> no holds barred! It's gonna be good! I love no holds barred! Oh, crap. Duke oh, God, it's <laughs> the Duke of Nuts! The Duke of Nuts! <clears throat> My dear ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your efforts in today's fine matches. I regret that government affairs forced me to miss the first half of them. But I was here for the second half, and what I saw was an exciting and enjoyable display of technique and talent. The distressing news of recent terrorist activities has had an unfortunate impact on Her Majesty's health. But I ask that you take heart. She has entrusted her governmental duties to me. Dwan von blah 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 blah. And I will do all that I can to live up to your expectations. Let us all remember the spirit and enthusiasm we feel during the competition, and recall it in the days ahead. I hope you all enjoy tomorrow's No Holds Barred Battle Royale! I'm, uh, not used to hearing the Duke speak so decently to people. He probably just memorized something written by the Intelligence Division staff. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, yes! The winner of the competition will not only receive a prize in Mira, but will also get a special gift from me. Your Excellency, uh, you certainly this is wise. <laughs> You'll be silent. This is a fine opportunity to show my generosity. Oh, I see, Epi. Okay. This is the first game. Three games in the main story. 
And then the other games take place in other times and other countries. Huh, okay. This gift has to be, is to be a written invitation to a royal court dinner party at Gransel Castle to be held in three days. Sadly, Her Majesty's presence will be missed, but it will be attended by celebrated persons of great renown. Arrangements have been made to only the finest royal and noble cuisine to be served. I trust that this will serve as incentive to those competing to excel in advance. I feel culturally appropriated. <laughs> oh god. Joshua, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, it would be ideal if Kana got that invitation. If they win the championship, they'll be allowed into the castle. It'll be above board. Better give her the chance to get that message to Her Majesty. Or were you thinking something else? No, that's it. But I hate the idea of leaving someone else to deliver the professor's message. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I'd have no objections. Shall we try to catch them in the waiting room before they leave the arena? Sure. Let's see. Carnage team came out the North Gate, right? Right. If they're still there, that's probably where we'll find them. All right, Jubsy. All right, Mordecai, let's get him. First, we're gonna go ahead and uh, fight the soldiers, break their necks, and sneak into the castle. And we're just gonna w fight the queen, laying in her bed, and just whisper to her, "You're going to be killed by your own soldiers." <laughs> <laughs> Karna, hi everyone. Congrats on making it through the preliminaries. Hey, it's the new kids on the block. I got confused. Oh, hey, guys. Yo, you here to watch the fights? Yeah, we've had a chance to see yours. That was a great match. Thanks, I'm glad to hear you say that to me, Kurt Angle. I don't get the sudden change to make it a team competition, though. Yeah, me neither. It's weird. It's been okay so far. All of our members are in one piece. Master Zane must be worried, though. Oh, you know Zane too? You use Fusion too? Uh! I don't know if I'll say that, but I know the name. He's a famous voicer in the Republic. People call him Zane the Immovable. He apparently came to Liberal specifically to be in this tournament. Then the promoters threw a wrench in the works and changed it from single to team competition. And I'm betting His Excellency's the one behind that idea. Either way, Master Zane still had no choice but to register as a one-man team. Ah, okay. Ugh, the Duke is a pain in the backside no matter where he goes. <laughs> no argument there. Still, this is going to be hard for him to really show what he can do. No kidding! It's too bad no one's around to fight beside him. Say! Well... Hmm... Maybe! Ah, uh, just what's happened. You all got this creepy, serious look. No, we were just thinking. What would you say to teaming up with Zane in the latter, in the later, no-holds-barred fights? Well, I... Wait, what?! Hmm, teaming up with him is not even allowed? It's not his fault that the rules of the competition were changed at the last minute. If one of the core rules can get changed, then I think we got some wiggle room. There really are no other bracers available that we could ask. Charizard's busy and we haven't even been able to contact a gate. Similar story for everyone else, really. I don't think Cassius is even in the country. <laughs> if those two joined up, they'd probably be accused of cheating on general principle. <laughs> Our chances of beating that team would be something like 10,000 to 1. Anyway, we should focus on what's ahead, rather than what ifs. Find Zane before the day's out, and if he agrees to let you join him, you should still have plenty of time to register. Uh, okay. Oops, Mr. and Puss, go on. I hope you'll give this some serious thought, but for now, we have to go. Bye-bye, newbies! Ha! <laughs> Here's hoping we see you in the ring! I hope to beat all of them soundly in the finals. What do you think, Estelle? That show went from talking shop to something else entirely! <laughs> uh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah! That's it! That's it! Now that's what I'm talking about! Oh, almighty Adios! Thank you so much for your bountiful favor! You're cracked! Think about it! We could be in THE martial arts competition, and we can help Zane in the process! Not to mention, check out that awesome castle, and be a part of the big final ultimate super duper intense battle royal! We can kill THREE BIRDS with one stone! 
You are... You really want to do this that badly? We haven't even entered yet, much less made it into the final match. It would be nice to you know, be able to handle the professor's request by ourselves, though. Assuming we made it through, that is. Yeah, music note. And think of how awesome it would be to win. Plus, we can't just leave Zane twisting in the wind. Let's go find him and ask him to join his team. Would you happen to have any idea of where he actually is? Uh, don't confuse the issue with facts. <sighs> Would you settle down for two seconds, please? Let's go back to the guild and report in to Ellen. Ellen. He's the one who knows most likely. He knows where Zane Truesdale is. He, he's uh, taking Advil for his. I mean, no, he's taking Advil for his heart. <laughs> oh, Jobsy. No. <laughs> I see. Yes, Zane requested the bracers send him some helping hands. I hadn't said anything to you guys since you're working on the request. <laughs> oh, the yeah. professor, but thanks to the web of his excellency, we can handle both tasks at once. <laughs> nice to see your selfishness work in our favor for once. <laughs> What do you think about participating in the martial arts competition? Well, I think there is merit to allowing a skill which is practiced to be used without restraint. And with two Bracer teams participating, our chances of gaining access to the castle are doubled. You didn't even get the... <laughs> I'll take it! You didn't even get the others involved until the... Uh, until and unless you lose. Personally, I think it's a splendid idea. Woohoo! That's my kind of encouragement. So any clue where we might be able to find Zane? More often than not, he's in the bar down the street. Failing that, he stays at the Calvard Republic's, Calvard Republic's Embassy. Gotcha. Makes sense since that's where he's from. The Embassy is the same block as the arena. We can stick our heads in the door to bar along the way. Okay. Oh, by the way, where are you two planning to stay here while you're here? Huh, we could stay at a hotel. If I'm not mistaken, the Northern Block holds the largest hotel in the entire kingdom. Ah, yes, the Hotel Rollenbaum. If I may, allow us to cover the cost of your room. <gasps> the Gransel Bridge can afford it. Whoa, really? That's too much, honestly. We couldn't possibly. I consider it a necessary expense in the course of completing the professor's request. I wish I could provide more. Nah, just the room's good by me. Very well then, we accept your offer. I'll book your room then. Just give your name at the front desk this evening and someone will help you. That sounds like a grand idea, Jumsy! Oh, okay. right. Well. Going to the bar. Ah! What was the bar, this one? At oh. the end. Oh, well, yeah, it is a bar. Oh, oh. crap. Oh, there's, no. There's piano music. Oh! Oh, is that a piano? Yes, yeah, not just a racket either. This sounds like someone's playing inside. Here we go! I feel like I've heard that melody somewhere before. I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> oh boy. Here he is! Oh joy, it's Olivier. Still, I always figured his talk of being a traveling musician was a bunch of hot air. He's actually pretty good. I guess he really wasn't kidding, eh? Yeah, I'm kind of in shock. That was a little, a little number I'd like to call Hamber Amor. It was originally a simple interlude in an opera whose name doesn't matter. I have been feasted with the power of love and devotion, and invite you all to tip your ears and drink deep of that power. I take it all back. He's just a weirdo. Ugh, now I feel all dirty for letting the song get to me. Nice to see you again, Olivia. What brings you to the Royal City? 
I could resist the, I could little resist the pull of this place. It drew me here as surely as the sirens fallen tears are swept from the rivers to the sea. So here I stand, my raven top highness, reunited with you at last. <laughs> you really haven't changed at all. That's enough out of you. If I have to be subjected to this, at least let's sit down for a minute. Acting all smug and dandy, totally oblivious to how tactless you are. Uh... My dearest Cell, how I've missed that obstinate irritability you so thoroughly embody. Weren't you and Sheriff supposed to be going to Roland? When did you get here? Hmm, about a month ago, I believe. Holy flit, it's been a long time. After we parted company, Sarah and I... Uh, Sarah and I spent a short yet blissful time in Roland. But alas, the overwhelming spirit of wanderlust that courses through my veins eventually got the better of me. Twas all I could do for pull away from weeping darling Sarah to protect her from being swept away to this blazing, dazzling wonder. What amazes me is that you can actually say that with a straight face. I'm betting that she drank you under the table every night until you find, finally decided to run off with your tail between your legs. <coughs> and then you figured you'd try your luck at drinking with Ina, right? Ah, but you didn't know about Ina, did you, Olivier? She's one of Shara's closest friends, works the information desk at the Roland branch, and as far as drinking goes, she's the only person I've ever seen who could outdo Shara. <laughs> Come on now, dear Estelle. I've never met this person you speak of. This Ina. Absolutely not. You might want to try that again, only this time without your voice cracking. Okay, Estelle, enough teasing. I'm sure it was a very trying time for him. An affinity of spirits greater than even Shara. Hateful inebriation. Inebriation. Why dost thou on thy darkest agents with smiles so alluring? Ah, uh, flashback much? And so begins the tale of Ina, Olivier's most tragic ballad. <laughs> Indeed. Anyway, you've come after complete completing your tour of the surrounding regions, I, su I presume. Mayhaps you've seen something of interest. Oh, we've seen a lot of stuff, but it's not easy to just sum up in a few words. Besides, we're kind of looking for someone, so maybe we can catch up another time. Oh, I might inquire as to whom it is you wish to find. His name is Zane. He's here from the Calvard Republic to participate in the martial arts competition. We, we know he spends a good amount of time in the local bars, so maybe you've met him. Ah, oh, yes, I recall him. Large as a bear, with a disposition not to match, thankfully. I have borne witness to his countenance on several occasions, but alas, today has yet to bear any sign of him. So in other words, he hasn't been to the bar yet. Odds are, he's at the Calvadian Republic Embassy then. <laughs> then shall we proceed there at once? Aw, oh, crap. This is our <laughs> other party guy. <laughs> How is it a matter of course for you to come with us? <laughs> Please don't be so cruel. Beyond my uses as a traveling companion, I also wish to assist in the manhunt. Unless, of course, you two want to be alone. What? Oh my, such an unsophisticated child. But when you blossom to your full potential, you shall be a woman to be reckoned with. Haha, <laughs> a quite a desirable one, I wager. <laughs> dang it, dude. What are you trying to say? <laughs> well... Hiya! <laughs> Estelle, you know, no matter how angry someone makes you, you're not allowed to brain them, especially not in public. It was all flash, no impact. I didn't do any real damage. <laughs> it seems that Estelle 
He's a very shy individual. Well, he doesn't seem to be hurt, but he will be next time on Trails in the Sky. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Whoop.